Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I have a haul for you. I haven't done a haul video in a while, um, but I did go and visit our daughter. She finally had her real graduation ceremony. She graduated from college last year and they postponed it. So finally had it last weekend, so we went and there are a couple different places that I like to go when we go visit her in Ohio. There's a huge antique mall and then some thrift stores. So we did visit those places, which I was happy to. And I found some things for junk journaling. And so I wanted to show you those things. And then I also have a few things that I ordered on AliExpress and then Amazon. And I also have some things from the Dollar Tree. So this will be um, a combined haul and all of the items are for my junk journals. So let's go through these things first. I'll share these with you. I found this uh, set of Christmas cards. They're the Coca-Cola Santa and there's two sets in here. Um, red and green and then I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just the bottom. <laughs> So there's red and green, and this is what they look like. The green ones all have that. And then the red ones look like that with the toy sack. And then this is what the Joker looks like. I think that's pretty cute. I don't think that the others are any different. Yeah, the other on the different numbers are the same, just the Joker. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think this box was like $2, something like that. Not too bad. And then I found this little roll of vintage trim. I thought that was really cool. And I think that was like $1.50. I think there's like two or three yards in there, something like that. And then, oh, these are from Walmart actually. I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, this was from a thrift store and it was three fifty, but I think it would I think it was Goodwill. But it's never been used. I don't know what doesn't have a brand on it. Oh, Stampin' Up from nineteen ninety seven. But I thought this would be great for background papers and just to stamp on papers and stuff. Or if I do like a mixed media, I just love that print. And then at the thrift store I also found this bundle of CD sleeves. I love to use these in junk journals. You can dye them, can make, uh, alter them, and add little goodies and things like that in them. So that was 99 cents. At the antique mall, I found this new puppy little golden book. I think it was $1.50. It's got a little damage, but you know, with golden books, I make these into journals and they look super cute, and I'd never seen this one before. This one is from 1959 or 1977. It's the fifth print. Really cute. Really cute. Love it. So picked up that one. I'm a sucker for little golden books, but I am getting better at holding off buying every one that I find because I don't know. They're just so cute. I just can't handle it. Anyway, I picked up one and even though there were lots, but I picked up one there. There was this awesome booth that had quilt squares and they were a dollar fifty a piece, I believe. And so I picked up some to make journal covers. So there's this one and this one, that one. And they are even hand sewn if you can't look at that. Isn't that awesome? So I could make these on my own. I probably would use a sewing machine, not hand sew them. But for like $1.50, it's like, you can't go wrong with that. And then there's this one. This one's cute. It has the, the three little pig pattern on it. I think I'm going to use this one for, I'm going to make a journal for my daughter. She loves pigs. I'm sure that someday she will live on a farm and have her own pet pig, the kind that lives in your house with you, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, I thought that was cute. And then I found two, this was at the antique mall as well. I found two packages of vintage Mickey Mouse gift wrap and they were $2. They're like the flat lay gift wrap. So there's this one. Really cute. And then this one is a roller skates. And then these aren't for junk journaling. I just, I had asked for a record player for Christmas. And so I found these at that antique mall. Mary Poppins and Walt Disney's Happiest Songs. This one was six fifty. It just has the record in it, but I love it. It's so cool. So it has a bunch of different songs from different Disney movies. And then this Mary Poppins one, this one's awesome. This is a nineteen sixty four. It was a ten fifty. But I love the cover on this. I'm gonna pull out just a tiny bit. There we go. This one has a book inside of it. So this is awesome. The illustrations are amazing. I love the colors. It's so cool. Oops, that one's attached. So yeah, so cool. I love it. All right, and so that was it for the antique mall and thrift stores. Then at Walmart, these were on clearance. They're the fat quarters for spring. I think I paid 75 cents for each one. This one is really cute. It has bunnies on it. So that'll be fun for next year or just a spring journal. And then this one has bunnies, raccoon, squirrels, a fox, hedgehog. That's really cute. And then the last one I picked up was Kind of similar to the one I showed you before, but it has trees and then it has a hedgehog, fox, squirrel. So really pretty. I love that. Okay, then this was just something random. I saw my dad, he came to the graduation and my mom used to craft a lot and when she passed away, there's still a house full of crafting supplies and I every time I go home I go through some and pull some but he just grabbed this I thought that was funny grabbed one thing he thought I would like and it's a creative memories punch and it punches like little squares it's hard to see sorry and then little little rectangle like slits I guess so you can like weave ribbons through and it, you can change it. It's got like little dials to make like a certain amount of squares or a certain amount of slits. So I thought that was cool. And then online from Amazon, I'll put the link for all this stuff down below, but Amazon, I wanted some different colored doilies for my journals and they have this set of 600 doilies and there's a hundred of each color so there's red and pink green kind of a light green purple yellow and light blue and I think they were I think it was like 10.95 or something like that so yeah got that and then these are from AliExpress. So this one shop had this really 
these really cute dies. They're Raggedy Ann and Andy. So I'll have to show you, I'll have to make them and show you these later. I have stuff to do Raggedy Ann books, so that's why I picked those up. Really cute. And then, okay, this one, I'm gonna do a B journal. So this is, there's some acrylic stamps. So I'm gonna use those for my B journal. And then these items are for Alice in Wonderland and Mary Poppins. So I originally had ordered from one shop, this is like a necklace. I'm not gonna use the necklace obviously, but they are charms and there are a bunch of different ones. This set is for Alice in Wonderland. So there is the little cards, a little, little um, charm that says made made in Wonderland, I think. I can't read it all. Okay, and then there's a little potion bottle that says drink me. There's the Alice falling down the rabbit hole. There's a bunch of random like little jewel ones. There's the Mad Hatter's hat and a little mirror, the Cheshire Cat, and let's see, the rabbit, a stopwatch, and a key there. And then the rest of them are little charms, little jewels. So these two, that set, and then this, little charm bracelet. This is a Mary Poppins charm bracelet. I had ordered these like three, three to four months ago, a long time. And the first time, like in a month it had said that it was canceled, like it was canceled in customs. That's the one thing about AliExpress. If you've ever ordered from them, it takes a while. Sometimes I can get things in three weeks or it could take forever. But this one had said it was canceled in customs and so the gal she was nice super nice sent out another order and that one said it was canceled in customs so I just I just had to like order a refund or not order a refund but request a refund and they refunded me and then it showed up <laughs> so I had ordered a second set from a different store and this was it was this, it looked pretty much, no, it's, which one? This one's Mary Poppins. Okay, so the Alice in Wonderland, I ended up ordering a charm bracelet. This was a necklace with charms. So it's the same charms and everything, just already on a bracelet. And then I had found this for Mary Poppins. And these weren't very much, like this was like, 80 cents plus shipping which wasn't a whole lot but anyways I ended up getting all of it this came like within like a month and then this took forever but I ended up not having to pay for it because it was so late and it said it had been my order had been canceled so anyway they refunded me on that and these were like I think this was like a dollar fifty and that so yeah, anyway, it'll be fun to use in my journals. And then the last few items were from the Dollar Tree. And most of the stuff is for my bee journals that I'm going to make. So I wanted a book cover for them that was yellow. So I found these two books there and they have a yellow cover and I may just like add some distressing on them distress ink or whatever and I'll add fabric and things oh and then they had this so I think I'll use this somewhere in my bee journal that's the crafter square fabric picked up some of their yellow tickets and then I picked up a legal yellow legal pad and this little yellow memo sticky note 
thing, so I thought that would be good to include. And then this one is for my Strawberry Shortcake journals, if you haven't seen those. I've made several of them, and I plan on making more because I've had requests. So I thought that was cool with the strawberries. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this haul video for Junk Journal Surprise Supplies. I haven't had one in a while. I just haven't been buying as much lately for obvious reasons. But um, yeah, so I wanted to share these things and hopefully I'll be starting my bee journal soon. I also will be making a couple more strawberry shortcakes, possibly Candyland journals. And I have a ladybug journal coming up. I need to film that right after this. And that will be up in my Etsy shop probably by in a couple days or so. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.